Diamondbacks back early today after a win over the Rangers here last night. And now a chance to sweep both games in this two-game set after dropping their two games at Texas earlier this year. Right-hander Merrill Kelly, seven innings, only two runs allowed at San Francisco last Thursday, and he called it definitely a game to build on as he works his way back from that four-month layoff. And as I mentioned in the opening of the show, they really need Merrill because he is the one starting pitcher that can give them innings. He can pitch into the seventh, into the eighth if he keeps his pitch count down. One pitch and a roll to third for Suarez. And a good start for Merrill Kelly. Doesn't get much better than that. One pitch, one out. You can't retire anybody on zero pitches. You have to throw at least one. Wait, there's got to be a way. <laughs> one out. That brings up the left-handed hitting Josh Smith. Swung on. And that's a bouncing ball to second. Picked up by Cattell. And he throws in time. Now two down on four pitches. Very economical stuff here from Kelly early. 0-2 oh, for Merrill Kelly. Right there. What a start for Merrill, the mainstay. And that's as good as it gets from Merrill Kelly. And a 1-2-3, top of the first. We go to the bottom of the first inning. For Cody Bradford, four-seam fastball, changeup, curveball, and slider. And the lefty's first pitch, and this one is blasted by third base. Marte is aboard. He'll scramble out to second base as Langford rallies it back in. So that's quite the start for Arizona. See if Cody can get out of this situation. Here comes the... 2-0 pitch from Bradford and Carroll swings hits a fly ball to fairly deep left center field that is going to be over the head of Tavares and a one hop the wall Carroll turns around second he's going to try for third here's the throw not in time RBI triple by Corbin Carroll and the Diamondbacks out in front early it's one nothing amazing how the ball just jumps off this kid's bat I mean, it looked like it was going to be a line drive out to center field. And the next thing you know, out in center field, Tavares just turns his back, and he knows he can't catch up with it. I mean, just ripped on this ball. And then the great speed by Carroll gets all the way to third. Randall, 276. He's got eight home runs this year. But as he stands in right now, he's sitting on 199 career home runs. Gretzik, there it goes. Number 200 for Randall. 420 feet for Gritchick. His fifth homer in his last 11 games. A big finish for Randall in a 3 0 Diamondback lead. Well, they've started off double, triple home run. Christian Walker might bunt for base hit here. Has a cycle on the first four hitters. Love it. Another middle of the plate mistake from Bradford. And boy, the Diamondbacks are jumping all over these middle of the plate mistakes. Randall Gritchick with a long home run to left field. Eugenio Suarez leads off the bottom of the second. D backs already in front, 3 0. Juju -ju pitch. Swung on. Oh my goodness. High, deep drive out to left field. 10, maybe 20 rows back and gone. And Suarez, another home run, his 27th. It's a 4 0 Diamondback lead. He just keeps going. I mean, just the march right now to 100 RBIs and just another home run. I mean, he has just been unbelievable. All right, nice catch, young man. We like it. A Diamondback fan got it. Way back into bleachers in left field. Del Castillo sends one out there to the gap. And that's going to get to the wall. Adrian Del Castillo. A double. Good start to the second. And here is the guy who has hit more homers against left hand pitchers than any player in baseball, Cattell Martin. He's two for two, and it's five nothing Diamondbacks. Cattell, back to back games, day game after a night game, playing defense for the first time. So far today, a double and a single. But I like this version of Merrill a little bit better. I mean, he's got the ability to strike guys out, but when he just like starts dotting, you know, the inside, the outside, up in the zone, down in the zone, really keeps hitters off balance. No balls, two strikes. The count here to Tavares. And the pitch. Strike three. Fastball right at the bottom of the strike zone. And he had Tavares completely fooled. Just doesn't know what's coming. Merrill, any pitch, any count. And he's got five different pitches. Two outs. Top of the order here is Marcus Simeon. The payoff. Simeon clubs that. Deep out to left. Gritchick back near the wall. That one is gone. 20th of the year for Marcus Simeon. The Rangers are on the board, and it's 5-1. to one. And the ball always carries well here in Arizona, and that ball, no doubt, about 10 rows deep. Now Smith with a weak roller down to first. 
And Walker takes care of him himself. Texas on the board after two and a half. Kelly looks pretty good here early on. He's allowed the one hit, the home run by Simeon, and walked one, but that's it. And that ball is out over short, base hit. So Langford is aboard. Well, that's how you have to come back is get that leadoff guy on base, put some pressure. There's a shot out into center field. That gets down, base hit. But back-to-back -back singles to start this fourth inning. So now low, and he hits this one on the ground. That one's through a right field base hit. Langford around third. He heads to the plate. He'll score. And it's three consecutive singles for Texas in this fourth inning. They get another run back, and it's now 5-2. to two. You know, the home run to Simeon, the base hit to Langford. Merrill can really pin that one on himself. He left those pitches middle of the plate. Those last two hits, a little bit unlucky. Rangers get a run on three hits, but Kelly settles in nicely. And we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Randazzo back there. Diamondbacks one through three hitters so far. Four for six. They've scored three. Marte hits a fly ball. Left field and there it goes. Welcome back to Tell Marte. And this is all Diamondbacks today. Three for three for Cattell. That's his 31st and his 17th against a left-hand pitcher. No one in the majors has more against lefty. Doubled in score in the first, an RBI single in the second, and now a three-run homer in the fourth. Bradford's not going to get through the fourth. Three and two-thirds today, and it was a rough go. Rangers trailing eight to two. I have to say that Merrill's command is not quite where it was last week against the Giants. Some of these misses are non-competitive. And he's running full on the number nine man. There's another one that got away, walks the ninth hitter to lead off the fifth. One thing about Merrill last week in San Francisco, he looked very much in control, looked very comfortable out there. Doesn't look too comfortable right now. And he wants everybody to huddle up. Hopefully he's okay. So I'm stretching out a bit there. And remember, this became an issue with Merrill in the past. Max Esposito ought to have a look. We saw him, it looked like, stretching out his hamstrings. Remember, he had that cramping issue, which he said was a problem given the heat, some dehydration. And might be surfacing again. Merrill looks like he's done. He, he's out. Merrill's walking off the mound, and that's it. He's calling it a day. On the pitch for the Diamondbacks, it is right-hander Slade Sacconi. Sacconi has been filling in as of late as the long man in relief for the Diamondbacks. A rough 6.60 ERA. It's frustrating because Sacconi has good stuff when it's going right, but when it goes wrong, my goodness, does it go south in a hurry. I have a question for you, partner. Yes, sir. You're the rule guy. Uh-oh. Okay. When Merrill Kelly stepped off the rubber out there, <laughs> that was his second disengagement. Now Sacconi comes in. Is it still two disengagements for the pitcher on the mound, or does he get to restart? I don't know. I don't know that one either. Well, we'll find out because he just disengaged. There you go. Yep. And that's uh, a balk. That poor Slade trying to figure out. Wait, I just got out here. And now Tavares takes third on the first pitch to Marcus. That has been an issue at times with Diamondback pitchers this year. Sacconi delivers, and that one is poked out to the right side. That will get a run home, and Simeon will get a base hit. Walker came off first base, and then he was just caught on an island. So Tavares walks, goes to second on a box, steals third, and comes home on an infield single. Watching the game? We'll take it. Thank you very much. Free hit. Thanks for not covering first. And a very awkward inning continues for the Diamondbacks defensively. That's a base hit for Langford. Well, this one's taken a while with uh, quite a few base runners. There's a swing by Adolis and a line shot to right center field. And that is in there for a base hit under the glove of Carroll. It rolls all the way to the warning track. A run is home. Langford goes to third. It's a double for Adolis. And Arizona's lead is cut to 8 4. Tor is going to have to get him out of there. Ginkle will get a base and loaded jam in an 8 4 game. Things unraveling. Soft fly out to right center. Jake McCarthy has got it. Ginkle puts out the fire. Another base hit for Gino. And now he is a triple shy of the cycle. Josh Bell at third base. Adio Suarez at second. In the air to deep right. Garcia back. He's at the track. He is at the wall. It is gone. Another home run for Adrian Del Castillo. A three-run shot. It's 11 to four Diamondbacks. Again, the bottom of the order for the Diamondbacks in this game. You can't get these guys out. Well, Christian Walker would like to join the hit parade, especially after he homered twice last night. So far today, over three. 
Walker to the gap. Langford been able to chase him down. He's not going to get this one. Corbin's coming home. Walker's got the RBI double, and it's 12 to 4 Diamondbacks. Another extra base hit. 13 hits for Arizona, 10 for extra bases. Gino has singled, doubled, homered. He's knocked in a run. He scored three times. High fly ball. Suarez looking for one more. And he's got it. Gino Suarez is 28. He's four for four. Unfortunately, can't stop at third. Why not? No, it's against the rules. <laughs> wow. 16th career multi home run game, and you cannot be any more locked in than Gino Suarez is right now. 12 extra base hits, most since the club record, which is 13, set back in the 2014 season. Full count on Randall Gritchick, 3 2 all the way. That's going to bring in another run. It's another extra base hit. Guillaume scores to make it 14 4. And they have tied a club record 13 extra base hits seven doubles a triple and five home runs it is the top of the ninth inning D backs in front 14 to four Rangers down to their final strike up the middle once more for Guillaume ball game 14 to four all Diamondbacks here today they get win number 82 and they total 13 extra base hits 13 of their 16 hits went for extra bases and here's a little icing on the cake it's the first career save for Jordan Montgomery yeah, how about that 